we're taking nothing for granted. We're working to earn every vote. You know, I will note one of the dynamics we're seeing, Hugh, coming out uh, of South Carolina is at this point, the race is effectively a three-man race between me, Donald Trump, and Marco Rubio. And only one campaign has a credible path to beating Donald Trump, and that's us. Uh, if you look at history, nobody has ever won the nomination in modern times without winning one of the first three states, Iowa, New Hampshire, South Carolina. We're the only campaign that has done so, uh, in, 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 along with Donald Trump. Donald and I, Donald has won two, I've won one. And, and beyond that, you know, it was striking this, this Sunday on the Sunday shows, George Stephanopoulos asked, asked Rubio, when he was going to win a state, they said, look, you, you, you couldn't win Iowa, you couldn't win New Hampshire, you couldn't win South Carolina. When can you win a state? And his answer was March 14th, the state of Florida. Look, that is all but conceding. He's going to lose Nevada. He's going to lose every state across the country on Super Tuesday. He's going to lose all the races on March 5th, all the races on March 8th. And his plan is to wait until 25 states have voted and roughly half of the delegates have been allocated and then finally win. That's not a path to victory, and that's why, Hugh, we're seeing so many conservatives uniting behind our campaign, because ours is the only campaign that can beat Donald Trump, which is why Donald is attacking us nonstop. And, and I am also the only candidate remaining in this race who is a proven conservative leading the fight against Obamacare, leading the fight for a flat tax and to abolish the IRS, leading the fight against amnesty, and leading the fight for the Constitution and Bill of Rights.